Dearly beloved, greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. This is a prayer mountain which is in Kenya. It is called Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain and I am speaking to you from there today. In this place, people come together daily and pray for the country. This is an auditorium that is located on the prayer mountain. 3,500 people can be seated there and pray. What you see on this side is their office building. Whoever wants to enter this place will have to come here first and register their names. If they need a place to stay, they will allot rooms for them and send them for prayer. People are always present over here. They keep praying. My heart feels overjoyed seeing this, okay? Do you know what word the Lord has for you today? 2 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 The Lord says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. He looks at you and says this, Here a wonderful man of God had a certain suffering in his body. It kept pricking him like a thorn. If there is a thorn in our body, won't it be very difficult? It would be unbearable. I was born and brought up in a village. In those days when I was a small boy, we would go into the forest without slippers on our feet. Thorns will poke us. If a thorn pokes us, our walk will change. Won't that thorn cause us agony? Only after it is taken out, our walk will become proper. So if a thorn pokes us, it causes great agony. This man of God had such a problem in his body. It might be a sickness or difficulty in the body. It kept poking him. It caused him continuous suffering. It was a hindrance to his ministry. He went to the Lord and prayed, Dear Lord, remove this thorn. Can the Lord do it or not? He can take out any thorn. He can heal any sickness. He can remove any problem. But he prayed three times. The Lord didn't answer him at first. Now the Lord says, Son, my grace is sufficient for you. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. He didn't say, I will take out your thorn, your prayer has been heard. No, but a thorn will remain. It will continue to cause you suffering, but my grace is sufficient for you. I will strengthen and lead you. Sometimes that is how the Lord will answer us. In your family, ministry, in your business, in the place where you live. Maybe a disease is causing you to suffer like a thorn. Maybe a problem within the house is causing you sorrow. In the place of your ministry, a man may cause you to suffer like a thorn. You try praying so much, but it will not be removed. But sometimes you will feel discouraged. You shouldn't feel like that. What answer does the Lord give you? My grace is sufficient for you. It will remain, but it will not affect you. You will not feel discouraged. Let it be. Continue your ministry with it. My grace is enough. My strength is made perfect in your weakness. Even in my life, when I pray for others, miracles will happen. Sometime when I pray for myself, the struggles in my body and in my life, it will never leave. Even when I pray, I would say, Lord, you perform a miracle for everyone but you aren't doing anything for me, then the Lord would say you should always think in your heart that I am the one who is using you. This is necessary for you so that you don't exalt yourself. In spite of it, serve me. My grace is sufficient for you. So I will praise the Lord for the weakness and shortcomings in my body. It will always remind me I am only an ordinary man. Not me, but it is Jesus Christ who is using me. Otherwise, your head weight will increase in your business home and work. Have you seen it? You might have experienced that. You might start to think, I am everything. Everything is through me. My family is running because of me. Without me, everything is finished. In order to change our pride, the Lord God will allow some thorns in our lives to make us humbly surrender ourselves. His grace is sufficient. His grace has been sufficient for me all these years. That grace is sufficient for you as well. The Lord says, My son, my daughter, don't be discouraged. Don't think I try praying for this, but it doesn't leave me. The grace of God will uphold you. The strength of God will be made perfect 
Only when there is weakness will God's power be made mighty in your life. He will give you grace and lead you. Isn't it sufficient? Then say, Lord, it's okay. Let anything happen. Let it remain unchanged. Your grace is sufficient for me, Father. It is sufficient if your strength is there for me. It will overcome it. I will live with this and emerge victorious. The grace of the Lord is enough. Dear Lord, your grace is sufficient for me, Father. I will not be worried or troubled about this anymore. I will not feel discouraged. Your grace is sufficient. Your strength is made perfect in my weakness. That is enough for me. I will advance further in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.